Hi, I'm Fran, I'm a goalkeeper for Sheffield United, um, and I'm 23. I'm sure gone short, it'll go cold later, won't it? <laughs> yes, great save. One early done as well. Highest point. My earliest memory of playing football is playing on the garden with my brother. He was a midfielder, 18 months older than me, and he used to just stick me in there and fire shots at me. Um, and after many tears, <laughs> I finally got good at it and started saving his shots. I didn't originally want to be a goalkeeper. I used to play for a local team and I'd play half in the net and half as a striker. Um, when I came to trial here at Sheffield United, I trialled as both a goalkeeper and a striker and they picked me as a goalkeeper. So I kind of just got stuck there. <laughs> I like kind of the glory of Making an unreal save, I think it's probably the same buzz as a striker scoring a goal, which really means a lot to him. And you'll always remember a save, which, which has kind of kept your team in a game or that means something. That's the best thing, making saves and helping your team out. So I came to trial when I think I was 10, so I actually got scouted and they asked me to come and trial for, it was the RTC at the time. Um, and they signed me on my first day. Um, so I was here until I was 15 and then last year at Centre of Excellence I signed for Man United. Um, was there for one year and then they didn't have a women's team, same as Sheffield United and um, I went for a trial to Chelsea then. Um, got signed for Chelsea on my first trial as well, so making, making moves and yeah, and I was there for I think three years, three years. Um, Went on loan to Watford as well while I was there, had a season on loan. Um, had a couple of appearances in WSL and at FA Cup and then moved on to Liverpool. Was there for two years, left there last summer and joined here and back where it started. I think obviously going through a really hard injury, uh, the impact it had on me, I just wanted to be close to my family and be close to home. Um, and kind of just speaking to Zoe and Redders, it was a good fit for me and exactly what I needed at that moment in time just to feel kind of valued um, and appreciated for me and my abilities. I think yeah, it's important that training standards are high um, from goalkeeping unit throughout to keep the pressure on, one for me to keep the pressure on and help push the young, younger girls through and the younger keepers through, but also for them to keep the pressure on me. Um, because I, I would never want to be complacent and always want to be pushed. Um, and I think that's what, what has kind of pushed me on this season quite a lot. I'm well, Josh Dowsett, I'm the goalkeeping coach for women's first team and I've been here since December. I think away from the pitch, she's very light-hearted, will we'll be everyone's best mate and try and treat everyone up. As soon as they cross the white line, it's OK, it's game time now, we're, we're here to win. Love that sort of attitude and get the, gets the best out of her every time. Obviously, from my previous roles, sometimes it's difficult to get keepers to talk, but with Fran, that wasn't, wasn't an issue from day one. Uh, she's been in class, to be fair, really helped me settle in, um, helped me get to know the way Redders plays. And um, yeah, she's all around, all around good girl to, to work with, really. So we train um, obviously three days a week and we have Josh every single session and then we get filtered into the main session. Um, but I was actually saying to Josh last week, because he's obviously coming from the men's background, he's probably the best coach I've had since being at Chelsea and that's just a testament to him. And I think he's definitely going to go far in the game because just his ideas are so fresh and, and you can see the way that the sessions develop into the next thing and the next thing and you constantly know what he wants from you and where he wants you to be. Um, so I think we've got a good one there. So I'll be swinging you with a leg up and over. When you land, I'll throw one up and you've got to get up to get it, but it'll be in front of you. I've just been underarm set. You're going to alternate. So once you've gone, Fran, is you then do the same side and then you'll just keep alternating. You ready? What's the point in playing if you've not got ambitions? That's what I would say to any any young girl as well. Um, I think being back here and just kind of finding the love for football again 
my aim is to be back in WSL and I want to be getting there with my hometown. Um, that would be the dream.